Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today I want to go ahead and do some airplane related stuff. Uh, not quite space planes, but just airplanes. I think we have some of the necessary equipment to do that now, so... I figure it's worth a try. I think we got this jet fuselage. I don't know what that does in different... I did a little bit of, of googling about uh, the best ways to make a airplane. So I'm going to try to take that knowledge into consideration as much as possible. Uh, basic jet engine will probably be good. Actually, you know what? I wanted to do something a little bit different than that. Um, so yeah, we'll go and actually put these on. I don't know why I took them off. Go and stick those on like so. And then what I'm actually going to do is stick a tail on there. Tail connector, if it'll actually connect. There we go. That was weird. It didn't want to connect at first. That would have been somewhat frustrating. Uh, and then we'll go ahead, I'll put some swept wings on here. Make sure that's symmetrical. Something like that will be fine. And actually, I kind of want the jet to be on the wings instead of the back, middle, and I'll have two of them. That's kind of... That's the plan for right now, I think. Uh, let's see, I do want... I'm pretty sure there's a... Yeah, there's a tail fin. I guess that would be best for the back here. Something like that. And do I have... I have standard control surfaces... Okay, I have a small one too. I'll go ahead and put a small one right here. Uh, like that. And basically that'll, that'll change direction based on what I want it to look like. Which will allow me to steer, if I understand this correctly. Uh, come on. Rotate, there we go, okay. Actually that should have been on symmetrical. Yeah, something like that, I think. Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to put on my fuel like that. So they don't look. No, they're not straight. Hold on. Let me see if I can straighten them. Uh, that's not it. There we go. Just angle them for. I think that's angled forward now. Look, it's good enough. I think. We'll put our jet engine on there. Not much fuel, but. Whatever. Let me actually move this a little closer in. Like that. That should be fine. Um, I'm not going to get super serious with the fact that there's fuel in the middle that's doing nothing. I just want to see if I can get this thing in the air for now. Um, anything else? What should I put on there? Oh yeah, we need a radial air intake. And I'm probably wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure I can put this anywhere. I'll probably just stick them right there. And that'll provide air for the jets, which apparently they need air. Which is kind of interesting. That's pretty much the big difference between that and a normal uh, fuel engine. Is that they need to be inside the atmosphere and they need to be able to get air. Okay, um, we're going to need a few more things, I think. We need our small gear bay, which I'll probably put some right here, along with one in the back to keep this thing in the upright position. Okay, uh, am I forgetting anything? Probably, but we'll find out here as we go. Um, let's go and stick a light on there, one of these lights. wrong direction maybe no I don't know it's no I have no idea we'll figure that out later I don't want to sit here messing with the angle all day I don't even think we can just fast forward to daylight if we need to let's see if this thing works let's see if I can get it into the air we're not gonna be able to do any oh Oh my gosh, look at me, I put the, uh, that's funny. Okay, let's fix that. Let's revert flight to space plane hangar. That's funny. 
I guess I didn't realize the weight would be on the front. Let's go ahead and move this thing up here. There we go. Now we'll give it a go. That's funny, actually. Did not at all occur to me that that might happen. Alright. And they take a minute to build up. Here we go. Okay, you know what? I don't have that much control over the plane. But, there we go. Okay, okay. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, we, we're alive. No, we're not. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'd say that was a pretty good first run. That's a pretty good first run. Let's go. Let's re revert to Space Plane Hangar here. That is funny. That's good enough for me for a first run, I think. So, let's put a little more control on it on the uh, I don't know what a, an extra tail fin would do but why the hell not I'll put one on there and a standard control no a small control surface on there as well like that um, it's the up and down though I feel that I need to be worried about I mean is there any ooh these actually this might be good We'll try these. We'll try these wings. These ones will, the, the entire wing will change depending on which arrow key, which uh, button I'm holding down for direction. This might do it. Get up in the air. Come on, there we go. Okay. Alright, this is a little better I think it's a little bit floppy though uh oh yeah it's a little it's a little floppy no no <laughs> send science report no okay so I think I think this has something to do I think you're supposed to pay attention to center of lift and mass yeah okay so our center of lift should be behind the center of mass I believe I saw that somewhere so let's go ahead and maybe if we put these in the back, which need that on symmetry mode, something like that will be a little better, I think. And another thing is I could probably move these up forward, which actually that seemingly did nothing. Okay, well, whatever. This should control a lot better now. And I, I would imagine that this space plane stuff will provide me a whole bunch of new research that I can do. Whole bunch of new science. Come on, get in the air. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, maybe. No, no. Get in the air, you stupid asshole. Yes. Okay. Kind of. Not really. Turn on SAS. Oh wow, that actually helped a lot. Okay. This seems to be a little bit better, but it still kind of wants to do its own thing. Nope. Okay. Maybe it was a speed thing. Now we're going a little faster. Maybe that helped. Let's see if we can get a crew report. That did absolutely nothing. Maybe there isn't more science to be done in space planes. I figured maybe there would be. But holy shit. I actually don't have that much control over direction, left and right direction. That's something that needs to be worked on. Quite a bit, actually. Maybe if I turn off SAS, nope. Okay, hold on, hold on, we're about to crash. We're about to crash. Still no more signs. Well, one thing I can say is that there are more places on Kerbin that I haven't gone to yet. This thing keeps wanting to go down. Constantly. Yeah, look at it. It's about to crash. Alright, well. I think uh, we are in a position where we can improve this thing a bit more. Um, well. Okay, hold on. Let me get rid of the whole tail thing. Let me put one of these on here. As well as on the other ones. 
We'll have three of them, which now looks really unorthodox. Let's bring up our center of lift and mass. Hmm. Move that back as much as possible. We need more weight on the front. Which we will have science related stuff there. Anyway, like this guy. We'll stick him on there. That should help improve things. As well as a bunch of science gear. Mobile processing lab, I think not. Um, let's see, a thermometer for extra science. I'll take it. Uh, let's see, what else? We do need our wings back. Those are kind of important. Let's bring back our aerodynamics here. Maybe actually a second set of wings. Hmm. The thing isn't heavy enough in the front. The center of mass is very far back. Which apparently these don't weigh anything because they're... Actually, they do weigh very little. 0 0.0125. That's very little. Um, instead of having a tail fin, I might have one of these. Actually, two of these would probably be twice as good. We'll do something like that. That's probably a terrible idea, but should find out. Hmm. I'll have the one in the back like normal. I just want a little bit of better direction. I want to be able to point my plane in the right area, which I was having trouble with that last time. Maybe something like that? Wouldn't be bad. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could use. I guess I could use these to just bring fuel over. Like so. Why not, right? Okay, um... Hmm. Now, I'm not getting all hardcore with it just yet. I could probably just stick a normal fuel engine on there at first. To get it going, but... We'll try this for now. We'll just see what happens. It's kind of a really weird looking plane. But I don't exactly have the greatest of resources on hand right now. I need to do more upgrading first. Alright, come on, get off the ground. Maybe? Come on. It really doesn't like getting off the ground, does it? We're gonna hit that. We're gonna hit that! Okay. <laughs> it didn't get off the ground. Okay, why didn't it get off the ground, though? That is something that I am concerned about. What changed so much that it didn't get off the ground? We're just we're gonna put more wings on there. I don't I don't care if it looks stupid or probably works in a stupid way. I want this thing to get off the ground pretty easily at the beginning. Let's get this thing going. Build up that speed first, of course. You know what part of the problem is, I think, is that it's all in the back. All, oh, you know what? Okay, hold on, let me try something. Let me try something. I think the, uh... The, um... These things. The landing gear may be part of the problem. It doesn't have anything to lean back on. Which is definitely a concern. Um... I definitely need something on the sides to keep it balanced. Or... This is probably not efficient at all. But let's try doing something like this. And then it would kind of already be pointed upward anyway, I think. We'll give that a go. We'll give that a go. That should get it off the ground. A little bit, at least. There's absolutely no signs being done today. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's probably a bad thing. Just a guess. 
Just, yeah, just a guess. It's probably not good. Hey, we're still alive. Crew report. We're home. That's all we... Hey, that's science right there. Keep that data. Absolutely. Recover vessel. I just got science. We got science today, guys. I got 15 science. Awesome. Okay, well, that didn't work. Maybe they need to be a little closer together. How can we... Just something like that, maybe? No, because then they're still really far forward. We'll do that. We'll do that, I think. Hopefully it doesn't tilt upwards so much right at the beginning. It should very slightly be pointed upward. There we go. Look at it. It's getting up there. Excellent. Go no! <laughs> they just fucking snapped like a twig. What? Wait, hold on. No, revert to one. What happened there? Did the wings just fall off? We need to get a better view of that. What on earth? Do we need to put some struts on there? I have no idea what happened. It didn't happen this time. That's good enough for me. Point upward! Okay, we don't have very much up and down control. That's the problem here. We need more up and down. I've got plenty of left and right now. With all these wings I stuck on there. Oh my gosh. Level! Okay. Well, the question I think we should be asking is where are we going? There's plenty of research to be done up... There, there's like a desert region... There's... Where are we? There's a desert region over here. Should I try to head up north? I think I might try to head up north. That might be my goal. Let me point myself in that direction. We'll go up north. Let me level myself out. We don't need to be going up anymore. That's a waste of fuel. Probably. I don't know that to be completely true, but... It seems like it's a waste of fuel. We're not pointed north. That's weird. I'm pointed north right now, but... My arc isn't up north. And we're pointed down. Hold on. Let me get into this view here. Point upward again, please. Because we're losing altitude here. Yeah, we don't have very much up and down control at all. That is a problem. How are we doing on air intake? We are... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We're kind of fluctuating. I think it's fine. I think it's fine right now. Hmm. Mystery goo, anything? Nope. Point in the right direction now. See, I would have just naturally assumed that up and north were the same thing. Except, I'm not going north. I'm going... What is that, like, northwest? I mean... But it says I'm pointing straight up. Alright, well, I'll just keep going this direction then. Why not? Yeah, I definitely need some more up and down control on this thing in the future. Would speeding this up completely ruin my flight? I think yes. I think yes. <laughs> Alright, well here's what we're going to do. We're going to revert flight to space plane hangar. We're going to make a few little tweaks. I want... Get rid of those. I, I need more horizontal control. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up these two menus. Can I add more swept wings without throwing everything off? Not really. Not really. We're going to do it anyway though and then see if we can adjust a few things. 
Uh, can we get this to be pointed the right direction here? Maybe, maybe not. It does not appear as though we can. Yes, there we have it, okay. So this needs to be, put those closer in. And then the center of mass is a problem right now, I think. Maybe what I should do, we'll, we'll get rid of this, we'll add more fuel, do that, and then we'll move everything back. Just a little bit. Can we... Why is everything kind of glitchy right now? What's the deal with that? Let's get rid of these for a minute. Maybe that's it. Yeah, that looked like it's the problem. And those are pointed upward. Excellent. Now, there we go. And they're still... Move it back just a little bit more, I guess. There we go. That's the best I can think of to do about that problem. We gotta put the wheels back on. Uh, yeah, well, that's what we're gonna go with, because I don't know what else to do. These wings, I think we should actually have a few up front a little more. Those will point the opposite direction, giving me more angle to use to my advantage. All right, let's see if we can get this guy off the ground. Oh, that's a problem already, isn't it? Recovered. No, nope, not recovered. Not re- okay. Bad. Let's fix that. That's, that's relatively easy to fix. We just need to move these back. And have symmetry mode on. I don't know why it turns itself off. It's kind of weird. whole lot of trial and error in this episode. Probably not as good of an episode, but whatever. I can't win them all. Okay. This thing seems much easier to control. Let's get some altitude here. There we go. That should be pretty good. Are we at least going the right direction? No, we're not, because going north is apparently not up in this universe. Maybe it, they didn't program seasons into this, did they? They might have. They might have. That would be interesting. Because I guess it is... Look, I mean, it's... You would think that this was like the North Arctic Pole, but I guess, whatever, I don't know. I don't know all the science behind all this stuff. I just play video games sometimes. That is all. Okay. Well, I am going for the Arctic, and it will take a pretty long time, so I'm gonna cut to whenever I get to somewhere relevant or if anything interesting happens. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so I have come to the knowledge that this is going to take way too long. It'd be way more efficient to uh, go into space, get like half an orbit, and then get up there. There's no way I'm going to make it all there in one run. I've been going on times two times three speed for like half an hour, and this is how far I've gotten, so there's no way in shit I'm going to get there in one episode here today. I'm, I'm just, it's not going to happen. It would be so much more efficient to just blast off a rocket to get there, which I will probably do, probably in the next episode or so. But uh, there is still research to be done. We are in a new location, and there is science to be done here. Plus, I have this cool um, thermometer thing that we haven't done anything with before. So, uh, temperature scan while flying over Kerbin's Highlands. 5.6. Let's do a crew report. Uh, view of the Highlands. It's not the most science in the world, but it's science nonetheless. Uh, 
Yeah, there's barely anything there. And we brought Jebediah. That's probably a bad thing, I would say, as I click off screen. Can we get that back? There we go. Alright, so like I said, it'll take much too long to get all the way up there. So, maybe, okay. There are some... Do, do these count as mountains over here? I don't know if they do or not. I don't know if they do, but I would imagine that would be more interesting science. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Is there more uh, we can do with the thermometer? I think we did the one on the left there. We do this one. I don't know. That's probably fine. We'll go ahead and shut off our engines here. I wonder if I can get a landing, because I totally forgot about parachutes. Oh my lord. I just realized that I did not bring parachutes. Okay, well the mountains are probably not a good place to do that, so why don't I see if I can turn this thing around to some degree. Ah! I have no control here. I have no control here. Turn around. This is... This is a bad, bad thing. This is bad. Go that direction. Go in any direction other than the direction you're going. Oh my gosh, we have no air left. Okay, we need to get to a lower altitude. I'll just let that happen. Let's just get to a lower altitude. Try to turn myself along the way here. Nope, come on. Come on, turn! Turn, what are you doing? Turn our jets back on. We need to turn. This is probably fine. Go down. Just go, just go downward right now. This is probably a bad risk I'm taking, but we're we need to we need to get to a lower altitude here. This is a very bumpy ground. I hope I can land this. I really, really do. Ah. Uh. I have no knowledge on how to land, by the way. I have very little knowledge. But, uh, hopefully, slow down our engines as much as possible. And we... Cut engine! Uh, oh, wait, hold on. We kind of, maybe? Yes? Perhaps? Have I done it? We got some air there a second ago. Okay, there's a hill up here. I hope we don't get that far. Up, uh, up. Uh, are we, we're still good. Okay, the engine is stopped. It's still making sounds. We just tell them to be done. Okay, maybe this isn't bad. Let's observe some goo. You observe the goo and that's three signs. Well, look at us. We landed ourselves a plane here. That is not bad at all. Let me go ahead and look at this thermometer. Make sure we're not going over a hill. There we go. Log temperature. Yeah, override. Uh, that's some more. They're quite literally nominal. I'm sure they are. Okay. This is a very good day. Now, when we stop, I'll actually be able to do an EVA. Actually, can I? Can I get back in the ship if I do an EVA? Ugh. Well, I have no idea. I... I really couldn't tell you. I have absolutely no idea. Well, I'm, I'm thinking about it, and we actually... I totally forgot about... Uh, I have a thing on here. Observe materials bay. Little signs have changed, though one of the many samples to be seems appears to be judging you silently okay no don't transmit that keep that um yeah i think this is actually not bad i probably should have looked at the material bays from up in the air but i completely didn't think about it this thing really seems to like to keep going doesn't it maybe you want to possibly stop can i how how what speed are we going here? That's our vertical speed. Which is not going to help me here. 
Vertical speed doesn't really help me. It's the horizontal speed I want. Maybe if we just speed this up, eventually it'll... No, it's look at it. It's consistently going this fast. I'm going 11.8 meters per second. Look, I actually sped up. I'm speeding up. I'm speeding up. I'm... I, hold on. Can we angle... Oh my goodness gracious. Those are just the engines. They don't matter. Come on. Angle. Don't go... Go up a hill. Don't you dare blow up on me. Don't... Hey. Hey. Watch yourself. What? Hey. Slow down. Jesus. It's slowing down. Okay, it's starting to it's starting to slow down. Oh my lord, this took forever. All right, we're down to two meters per second, and we have come to a complete stop. All hands and feet and limbs of any kind stay inside the vehicle until we come to a complete stop. I don't know if we can get inside this thing. Actually, we can probably climb up the wing. I'm gonna risk it. EVA, get out there. Actually, look at that. I forgot how short I was. We're gonna do it. I don't care. Okay. Excellent. EVA report. I don't think the spacesuit was entirely necessary. We got absolutely nothing out of that. Let's take a surface sample. 0.6. This was not worth the risk. This was not worth the risk. And I, I don't believe I can use our, uh, RCS on the planet Kerbin. Can I even get up here? Oh my gosh. No! Get up! What are you doing? Get... I can kind of use the RCS a little bit, I think. Lord knows he tries. He will certainly try to use RCS. It kind of works. Okay, well. The good news is, is that we can get back on the ship. Board. Excellent. Okay. This was not at all worth it. But I don't care. Because we're alive. And that's what really matters here. That's what really mattered. We have 37 signs. Probably not enough for anything. But you know what? I don't care. Today was a productive day. Maybe I would have gotten more signs if I didn't accidentally bring Jebediah with me. But that is a whole other story entirely. So next time when we come back, I have no idea what we're going to do, but we'll do something exciting, I promise. Because this was not exciting. We'll go into space. We'll do a space mission. Or at least get up uh, to the Arctic through something other than aeroplanes. But, uh, I don't know, only time will tell. I'll see you guys next time.